Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, if you didn't watch the first four minutes of the last episode, we were talking about our cool rocket launcher that is now gone because it, it was single use, which I obviously knew because I read. I read, right? So um, it's gone now, and I will not be purchasing one. But I do feel like there's a good chance. Man, 17 for Magnum Ammo. Like, this is the way to go. This is so powerful. Um, there's a good chance that made our fight significantly easier. A most warm welcome. Oh God. To my castle. Such a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance, Mr. Kennedy. Who the hell are you? Me? Oh please, call me Ramon, and allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy. How novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then. The entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sattler. So then, you will comply, yes? Never. You heard the lady. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. I love the infected Benjamin Franklin vibes there. Also, those guys are huge. Okay. Leon. Just stay close. Maybe the merchant comes to help us. We have a grenade. That'll be nice. <laughs> That's actually very nice. Is there more behind me? Yep. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay. Didn't want that to happen, but here we are. I'm out. Oh, right in half. Now we're talking. Grenade, like, right behind their shields was so cool. Okay, I need a... I need a small key here. These are, like, probably the new way shrines. Need some type of weird cube key. This needs to be accessed from above. And... Oh my god. Okay, we'll craft this, but we're gonna wait. I would fully invest in an upgrade that auto-healed you at certain health thresholds even if it wasn't no ideal if we can get around to the other side Locked. okay well i guess we live here you know the way to get to the courtyard gap in the wall oh here yeah i i noticed that this way I okay. noticed that before. Yep. Be careful. Oh, she's going to open this. It's open. Thanks. This probably loops around there. 
Oh, you know what? Let's throw that in for like a mega heal. I gotta say, it feels really good to be playing a uh, story focused game again. I know this one's obviously heavily action based. Um, and I know I started this late, so views are kind of bunk. But I'm really enjoying it, and that's what matters. I've been doing so much traveling lately. I've I've missed releases of stuff. It's kind of crazy. And uh, it has a pretty tangible impact on how a series performs if I'm late. Can I break this? Oh, hell yeah, I can. Thanks. So this must be... Is this stuff above me? One is... Yeah, that'll do. These are all locked. There's a way to get there we'll have to pay attention to later. How how do we get up there, I wonder? Let me just check here real quick. I just want to see something. That crawls us out. I didn't see a place in here that led up top. This just led to that other side. Okay, we'll keep our eye out. Looks like we can continue on this way. Careful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This dude, if he comes back to life, I swear to god. I don't get an aim reticle on him, which really sketches me out. He's gonna be alive, right? <sighs> Poor bastard. That's no way to go. I'm wrong. It's never happened before. Caretaker's notes. I was awoken in the middle of the night once again. It was those awful noises coming from the basement. The sounds of nails clawing at the stone walls and the writhing moan of curses. That man harbors enough hate to ruin this world. He once served the lord of the castle as a torturer like his father and grandfather before him. It's one of the more unsightly legacies left by Salazar family. Even among his family, he was special. He enjoyed the work wholeheartedly and had a talent for it. He was gifted at tormenting others. His ability soon attracted the master's interest, and then, and when he took him to the dungeon... No, I can't write anymore. I won't. I don't want to recall what happened down there. My mind can't take it. It will break me. I was ordered to attend to him, to feed him, dispose of the filth, all while listening to that wretched voice every night. I can't take it anymore. I've had enough. I will not tolerate one more night in this castle. I shall leave tomorrow, go far away, where that voice cannot reach my ears. Okay, so we need some type of special key. This guy's got engravings. And by engravings, you know what I mean. Oh my god, I have a bad feeling about this. Ashley, get in there. Hide. <laughs> it's a locker, I swear. I hope that thing that's making that noise is tied up. It sounds like it's attached to something. The light is lost. Ha muerto la luz. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Great. Um, he's chained to something. Or he's one with the chain. can't see me, so we got to be cool. Hmm. 
shit. Shouldn't have done that. Guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, he definitely... He definitely sees me now, guys. God, that's insane. Gotcha. Wow. Wow. Dudes. Oh my god. I got I got red herbs. Just and that's not going to do it for me. Is he going to come right through these? I have a bad feeling. So here's the thing. Um, walking is quieter than running. Crouching is quieter than walking. Yeah, so got that. Do I shoot him? Bye. Okay, okay, so let's see what we can do here. I probably should have got hit there, honestly. Wow. Oh, okay. Jeez, man. So I can't evade. I mean, in theory. And I can block. Oh, I see. Okay. It does seem like running is the best. <laughs> and then I sneak up behind him. I need to not get hit by a chain. Oh, is he gone? <gasps> He's gone. We'll take that, man. Okay, that's cool. I really like how all of the all of the um, like boss encounters feel different. There's usually a bit of a thing we kind of need to learn and then address it. Sometimes we can get lucky, but.
Okay, so there's something on the top floor here. Is that who I think it is? Oh, I see where we came out. You were right about the animals, though. <laughs> you okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. Very cool, we'll take that. I mean, I don't even know if there's a point in taking those out because I'm sure I've missed uh, 10 of them. Wow. This is cool. Look at all of this. Um, okay, so we have inlays for a an eagle, uh, deer, and a snake. That's the deer. But oh, okay. So this is a, okay. Am I, I shooting this? Bring those gongs by shooting them. Right. Okay. So. Do we need to shoot them in order? Nice. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take that. Rusted sword. Golden sword. Rusted sword, the chipped blade has been dulled for displaying, cannot be used as a weapon. Huh. Okay. And an iron sword. Do I need to rearrange these somehow? And like, how would I know where to put these? This probably grants access to here. Butch. So... Okay, this guy looks like he's wearing golden armor. So let's put that in there. Uh, but that guy looks like he's getting knighted. Like, this guy's wearing, like, iron, I would say. And let's try this. But isn't this where I got the rusted? I think so. Which means... Rusted is, like, if it was in a grave, you'd think over time it's getting used. Maybe there's a fourth that I need. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. Blo okay. 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 What's I'm a little ahead of it. For? Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. And why would I want to change these, I wonder? Okay, so that's gonging and lighting. some kind of story um I suppose maybe okay so this one's gonna be the bloodied I think because it's like in a guy we'll keep this one rusted and we'll throw the golden one here because he's getting knighted. Ha! <laughs> Sick! Oh, guess you were right. Mm. 
I think there's more to that other room that I want to check out too, but... Oh, I haven't seen one of you for a while. Where'd he go? Is that just sellable, this one? Yeah. Okay, now we're up top here. So we could come back and drop down. Hang Freaking on. Gongs this everywhere. is the same room as before, isn't it? Guess we just circled around. Yeah. So we've got the, like, sea line and the snake. Okay, so these are just gonging. These are not switching. I don't know why I thought they were switching before. Oh, cool. Okay. Don't even think about trying this yourself. <laughs> As if. This is going to be that secret room. Leon, over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Thanks. Leon, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> what are you, my mother? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check the other one then. So I've got a stag here. And this is the same as the other side. So somehow I need to... There's a snake there. And I need to hit the... The seahorse, which is over there. That's the only snake that I see, though. <clears throat> So maybe it's a situation where we gong. Oh. Hey. Don't leave me. I wasn't sure if that was going to be fast enough. Okay. So that's all well and good. But, I'm also curious. So she had mentioned these are telling some kind of a story. This is like, maybe a, you know, it's a knight who becomes like, he gains some power, he goes into battle, he kills things, and then he's dead. Because that's his helmet on the ground, right? I assume that's the story that she's referencing. But the question in here is, like, what's the point of all the other gongs? Is it just for show? This is the only one not lit. So now all the gongs are lit. Huh. I don't know if there's anything more here. Could be something to do with these pictures, but we can't, like, interact with them.
Okay. Well, if we think of anything, we could try it later, but... It seems like we're good. This is the locked drawer and the square lockbox. Apparently this dungeon key is already done. So nice. The gallant knight protects the princess bear. So this takes us back into that big audience chamber. Okay. Parasites in their ecology, volume 2. There are some parasites that have the ability to control their hopes. This is basic knowledge among most biologists, but not much is known as to how the parasites do it. Following is a list of several such parasites. The dichrocolium. Once the larvae of this parasite migrate to the ant's esophagus, they alter the behavior of the ant. When the temperature drops in the evening during peak grazing hours, the infected ant climbs to the top of the plant and clamps onto a leaf using its mandible with the intention of being eaten. The galactosomum. The larvae of this parasite makes their home inside the brain of a fish, such as the yellowtail and the parrot bass. Once infected, the fish makes its way up to the water's surface, where it will swim until eaten by seabirds. Lecochloridium. Lecochloridium. This parasite's sporocysts develop in the snail's eye stalks, where they pulsate like worms. They alter the snail's behavior and force it to move to the top of a plant to make it more visible to birds. Once eaten by a bird, the parasite will complete its metamorphosis into an adult. That's cool. So it's not just like controlling the host, but then getting getting something else to eat it as well. Oh, I got I got a save there. So, that's probably where we want to go, but... Ah, okay. So we're going to loop around to this. Guys, I'll tell you what. Let's take a break here. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue investigating and uh, hopefully get into some trouble. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>